Keep your eye on number 99, the man over the middle. He makes a great play to put the pressure. He grabs him and holds him. Number 63, oh man, what a tough play. Okay, but here's the situation. It's not over yet. They need to throw the ball about 15 yards to the outside on either side, step out of bounds, line up, and kick the field goal. The holding on the offense, 10-yard penalty, previous spot, still first down. First down, 38 and a half yard line, 11 seconds left, and for Virginia Tech, no timeouts. Which means throw the ball to the outside, complete it, step out of bounds, get your kicker in, and win the game, and get Virginia Tech's first bowl game in the history. Wouldn't that be something? End of the game, Eddie Hunter, who just now joined the huddle. Snell goes left, Everett goes left, Johnson goes right, slot back right. Hunter. He's going for the end zone. Flag down. It was caught. Now it was caught by Everett. And there is a flag at the one. And we have an NC State player down at midfield. The clock shows four seconds left. Okay, now you the keep flag is Watch against. Coach Dooley. Watch Coach Dooley. Watch him. Now, they apparently are calling. I saw a signal against the offense and another signal against the defense, Lee. Let's try and get this sorted out. Okay, if it's penalty against both teams, the play is null and void. They'll have to do it over again. If it's pass interference, it's a 10-yard penalty. They'll have to line up and kick off and kick the uh, field goal to win the game. That's what it is. It's a 10-yard penalty. Now. now, watch. It's isolation, number four, Gay. It is pass interference. Now, they've got to line up and kick the field goal right now. Remember, the guy's done it five times, right? And tied South Carolina the sixth time. So the and penalty is strictly... Pass interference, 15-yard pound. Now, there was definitely a signal from one of the officials that there was a penalty against the offense. I just think, you know what? He might have gotten as excited as I did. <laughs> but there was definitely a signal given against the offense and against the defense. But it is a first down. Well, you can't, you can't ask for a better game. Here's the guy lining up for his career. Now, I did this one time, and it might be a good idea for Coach Sharon to think about this. I called the timeout once in the uh, Holiday Bowl to make the guy think about it even a little bit more. Use the old basketball yeah. technique. They might do that here. Now, the penalty was a 15-yard penalty. It moves the ball to the 24-yard line. Now, this means that the kick will be about a 40-yarder from the right hash mark with four seconds left. So it's it's all on the line. Sandy Key, who's played just a great football game, nose tackle, nose guard, if you prefer, for NC State, is the injured player. He's being helped off the field. And North Carolina State did call a timeout. Now, let me tell you one thing. This is one thing I bet you that they practiced right here. This quarterback has got all the whole thing. No one in the history of Virginia Tech has ever won a bowl game. And this kid's got it right on his shoulders right now. So what the coach over there, Sheridan, is telling him, whatever you do, try to block it from the outside. Chris Kinzer of Dublin, Virginia. Dick Sheridan is thinking right now, it's been a great season. It's been a great game. But oh my gosh, what a game. Now what's this guy thinking? He can go home a hero to Blacksburg, or he can go right by Blacksburg up to Philadelphia, or right to Boston. Good luck. The holder will be balanced. 9 of 11 of 40 plus yards. This is about 40 yards and 3 inches. Watch 
Dooley, the first coach in the history of Virginia Tech ever to win a bowl game in his last game at Virginia Tech. It'd make a great movie, wouldn't it? Among other places, they can celebrate in Blacksburg, Virginia, and in Dublin, Virginia, in Pulaski County. That's the home of Chris Kinzer. You know, a game like this... Did you, you say before the game it could come down to the last team with the football? Absolutely. But also, you got to understand, it's a sad thing to see either team lose this ball game. What a... Oh, boy. Well, we're going to try and sort of get calm up here and gather ourselves together because we have a little summarizing to do as we'll tell you the final score. Virginia Tech, 25. North Carolina State, 24.